and welcome to another adventure into that. So today I'm starting here because I want to tell you guys that I actually got one of the recordings of the next part of the storyline, but um, it's recorded separately from this episode, so I may add it in like now. It's already time for us to be at the docks. Let's go! The arrival schedule says ship stopover one person. Does that mean we're only welcoming one guest today? Okay, um, so you guys saw that. Uh, basically, it's still just Paimon telling me to go to the docks and stuff like that, but well, let's just start the story then. I've been actually wait been waiting for this one for quite a bit. And the theater mechanic is... Yeah, I only did it to like the... Um, the second to last um, achievement. So... Yeah, I couldn't get the last one. It is also because like... Getting... 2.5k on that kind of level of hardness is actually really, really, really hard. So now I just gotta head to the docks, and that's all. Enjoy the blessing of Lesser Lord Kusanali. Well, Paimon, because it is. Now, what's exactly on the ship? Nope, nothing. Alright then. Hey, Kazuha, what are you doing? Touch the water. Touch the water. Yes, Kazuha, touch the water. Just kidding. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. I heard there would be guides for the Iridori Festival, but I didn't expect it would be you two. <laughs> we didn't expect to see you either! Returning as a guest for the Iridori Festival, no doubt! I was a little surprised myself when I received the invitation. But after wandering the outside world for so long, it's good to have an opportunity to return to my homeland and pay respects to my old friends. Kazuha. In the distance just now, you seem to be looking for something. What happened? Ah, yes. You see, when I came off the boat with everyone just now, I suddenly heard light footsteps around me. I could tell they were not footsteps of a regular passenger. But by the time I turned around, the person had already disappeared. I only heard a splash come from below the pier. Even though I didn't manage to catch a glimpse of them, I found this strange piece of paper by my feet. Oh, does the paper happen to have a poem written on it? Huh. How did you know? Fascinating. It's almost hard to believe such things could happen. Kazuo, can you show us that piece of paper? Sure. Here it is. Please, have a look. Akahito got his name from his love of red seals. However, the shogun discovered that he had committed plagiarism, and he was soon exiled. Well, if Paimon were to rate today's story, it sounds pretty unfortunate. Well, the Obi stories weren't much better either. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this story. I too was once wanted as a criminal by the shogunate, 
so I'm not all that different from Akihito mentioned in this story. But according to the story, Akihito was exiled by the Shogun because of his wrongdoings. You did nothing wrong, Kazuha. Huh? Traveler, what are you thinking about? Hmm, the seal mentioned by the s in the story. Maybe it can help Shinshu? Ah, by the way, you mentioned that your friend has been struggling because he's unable to sign his name quickly, right? In Liyue and Inazuma, there is a saying, that which has been stamped has also been signed. Perhaps using a seal could be a feasible solution. While sailing at sea, I sometimes carve things to pass the time. If you wish to create a stamp for his seal, I might be able to help. Off to Alberto we go! And we have to see this. Um, well, we don't need to read the... the contents, but now we got three. This is what they call eternity. Or we can just use the teleportation waypoint, why not? Oh, and this over here was just me remembering where I cut off that last part that you guys just saw not too long ago. So, that can go away now. I also have some stuff for you guys to see, but maybe in a sec. Interesting. A story of the five Kasin appears again, and with a timely solution. A stamped seal, huh? Hmm, let me think. Indeed, it is an efficient solution. If we use a stamp, then Xingxia won't have to struggle with his handwriting anymore. However... However? Since Xingqiu's signature has been previously revealed to the readers, it would seem insincere if he only used the stamped seal for his new books. But I have another idea. Using a seal is a part of it, of course. Uh, let's go to Ouya Restaurant now to discuss my idea with everyone. Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, we have to go to Ouya Restaurant at night. Well, it didn't say, but going there at night just seems appropriate. And also, well, since nighttime hasn't fall failing yet, I don't know my grammar. Sorry, it's my problem, not you. Your problem. Don't worry, I'll get over it in a while. Now I can use the miner's key on here. And it also seems there was, like... Yep. Another Black Serpent Warrior down here. Oh, come on. That's not cool. And it's an ever... Oh, come on. I'm only using my Traveler for a reason, because I don't need to use others. Hey, that's harsh. Is this an answer from this world? Okay, and what is this? Oh, the, it's the other side of that door. Okay, now I know. Now let's just get this CV back to where it's supposed to be. I have no idea why I haven't touched this CV and returned it back to its court yet, but there's... That's a fish app. And I don't care. This is my freeze all of it. Freeze to the core. Because why not? Alright, CV, wait for me a sec. 
That was easy. There. Okay, now that's done. I don't know if it's daytime or not, but I won't risk it. Because I also have another thing right over here. Um, oh, yeah, that's just a keyhole, but... Um, maybe in a more fewer episode I'll show you guys what that does because I only got four and I saw it needs like nine to open the whole thing so maybe give me a while and I'll get there I don't know where the other like dark or key thingies are anyways so I, even if I go there right now it won't be much of a use and while I mean there won't be much of a use, is I just climb there and do nothing. Is this an answer okay, from this so world? Wait, where is this? Is this? Oh, okay, I know where this one is. So there are fishing points down here. And I'll leave that tag over there since I haven't actually activated it. Now we go to the restaurant and see if it's nighttime or not. If it's not, then I'm just going to use my time powers. Yep, of course it's not. It's only dawn. Well, evening. There. Now we can watch the sunset as we go. If we get there fast enough, we might get a chance to also see it while we're eating. Well, we normally eat at a restaurant at night. Don't we, Lumi? She doesn't respond, she just stops. Okay, great. Was it daytime in here? And whoa, that's a lot of science. Welcome. Yes, that's it, Jen Yi. Your writing has greatly improved today, which means yesterday's intensive training was effective. My apologies, but I simply can't do it anymore. My hands are so sore that I can't even move them anymore. Oh, I should have known better than to read novels during calligraphy class. You just had a 10 minute break. Come on, you can do this. When it comes to pushing a deadline, there's no one more brutal than Mr. Hirayama. No wonder Lady Yai would always send the editorial director to handle troublesome authors. Whoa, this is getting scary. It hasn't even been that long and Shicho's already zombified. Mr. Hirayama, we found a solution that might just solve our dilemma. In both Li Yue and Inazuma, Seals are widely used as the equivalents of a signature. If we use a stamp to leave the author's seal on the books, then we could make the signature process a lot easier. Of course, a seal on its own is not enough. So, I propose that each signature consists of two parts. First, we'll use a personalized seal. We can simply carve one using Chen Yu's signature as the design. In addition, I'll also design a simple but elegant pattern that's easy for Chen Yu to write. That way, he will only need to draw a simple pattern on each book. Hmm, let me think. Go on. You have time. Alright, I think that would work. Not only does it still involve the author's own handwriting, but the results should be very beautiful as well. Yes! Nice! Since your hands can rest a bit. So, what you mean to say is, I've been saved from this predicament? Mr. Hirayama, it suddenly occurred to me that the reason we gave up on live book signings previously was because it would take too long for the author to sign each book. But if we adopted Couch's proposed method, we might have enough time to do signatures at the live event. 
And if all the authors signed their books in the same fashion, then Gen Yu's signature wouldn't look out of place. Well, if you think it's feasible, I would certainly be happy to design signatures for the other authors as well. Yes, and you may leave carving the stamps to me. In that case, I shall contact the other two authors participating in the new release event. It is a great honor to use a signature designed by Calx. My pen name is quite complicated and isn't suitable for signing events. However, if we implement this new format, then it'll be a dream come true for me as well. Great! Looks like everyone's on board with the idea. I'm sorry to have kept you busy for so long, Jin Yi. Please, take the next few days to have a good rest. We'll handle everything from here. The books that Jin Yu already signed can be used as special prizes in future events held by the I Publishing House. <sighs> we did it. The event is saved. Thanks to everyone's efforts, Onodera and I are finally free of that mess. <laughs> That's right! You're finally free, Xingqiu! Maybe you should step outside for some fresh air! Onodera, please inform Lady Ai of the changes in the event planning when you have a moment. She will surely like to hear about our new idea. You're a quick thinker, Onodera. As long as you exercise a little prudence, you'll be able to achieve great things in the future. Uh, got it. Thank you very much, Mr. Hiroyama. I suppose this is all a blessing in disguise, isn't it? I'm sure readers will be thrilled to hear that the release event will also have a book signing. Now that's a case closed. Nice one. Since you doesn't have to spin his hand right in the Hmm, we still have some time to burn. Where should we go next? Traveler, there you are. Oh, it's Ayaka! And Venti! That's an interesting combo. I was just going to the festival venue to prepare the Ikebana lesson when I found a strange piece of paper on a flower stand. This bar just happened to be close by at the time. He informed me that you've also found similar papers recently. As such, we came together to find you two. But the paper she found isn't quite the same as the ones we found before. Here's the paper. Please have a look. All the poems we found before were roughly the same length. But this one is only two lines. <coughs> Correction, one line. And even though there are only two short sentences, neither of them are next to the title or centered on the page. Hmm. The position of the writing seems to indicate that there is other content written on this paper besides these two lines. If we take the poem literally, it reads, dip this paper in water, and see the truth naturally appear. Speaking of which, I have an ancient text at home specializing in ancient and exotic stories. It mentions a special ink that will show itself when wet and disappear when it's dry. Should I call Kokomi for help then? Or we should just need to get a cup of tea? I propose tea. So, shall we give it a whirl? It just so happens that there's a pond nearby. Is there anything in the world that And, well, um, there's my camera. I was worrying it about it for a second. And if you want to know what's written on the paper, make sure to tune in for that, the next episode, because Lumi needs to rest again. Although she's only doing stars right now, she'll definitely yawn in a minute if I don't do it. So, thank you guys for watching, make sure to leave a like and also leave a comment. And if you kindly do so, make sure to also slap that subscribe button and no yawning yet. And also, well, slap that bell. And we'll meet you guys all next. See? Uh, I mean, come uh, on. Uh,